todos los alumnos de Club Cañada y les quiero platicar un poquito de quiénes somos, a dónde vamos y cómo nos entrenamos. Así es que eso es, esta es una entrevista eh, muy interesante con Debbie Sayers, que, quien ha estado por más de 11 días en la Ciudad de México entrenando a todos nuestros profesores. Difícil tiempo para venir, era algo que ya teníamos programado y aunque el sismo se atravesó, pues aquí estuvimos y estuvimos trabajando muy duro. Algunos de ustedes la habrán conocido y habrán tenido la fortuna de poder haber nadado con ella y otros tanto no, pero sí me importa que sepan cómo nos entrenamos y por qué hemos hecho esta alianza tan maravillosa con ella. Entonces, bueno, Debbie, hi, hi again. Hello again. Okay, so we met many years ago. Okay. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. We have traveled a lot. Travel together. Travel together <laughs> a lot. Across the oceans. Across the, across the uh -huh. oceans, you're right. So I always get excited when you come. And I want to tell my parents and my students who you are. So please give us a, an introduction of yourself and I will help a little bit on it. Of course. Uh, well, I, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, I am I'm honored to be asked to work with you. Um, I consider you a, a true friend, and it's exciting to share our passion of swimming together. Yeah, that's right. And so I think it's easy for us to work together because of this. A um, little bit about my background is that I came into the working in the swimming industry in 1994, and uh, once I started in the industry, I. Uh, I left my other careers and I've been swimming ever since. So about when I, a couple years into the industry, I kept getting younger and younger babies. And traditionally in the United States, uh, babies were starting swimming lessons around eight months old. And then I met some people that were working in the birthing industry, in water birth and natural birthing. And I found out that babies are born with all these aquatic reflexes. Of course, they are swimming in water for nine months. Of course. And those reflexes that were survival reflexes are maintained for up to the first year, some of them, and even up to two and a half years for some of them. So I thought, why are we not bringing these babies to the water sooner? So I started working with younger and younger babies. I really wasn't sure what to do exactly with them. There was no curriculum out there, but I did uh, meet some very fortunate people in John Bainbridge from Australia. I met him very early on, and he had just had a, a baby birthed in water, and so he was working with his baby in the bathtub. So I started going to people's homes and working with babies in the bathtub and showing them what they can do safely with their babies. And then I went and trained in, I met Francois Friedman uh, in Portland, Oregon at a conference. In 2000 and 2002, I went to England and trained with her. She has a, a very um, strong background in anthropology and also yoga. And she's taken the two and mixed them. So that just blended well for me. After working with babies for those six to eight years right then, I saw the babies, how natural they are in the water. And I didn't want to break their nature. I wanted to support the nature. So this is this began a bit of a different style of an approach for me. 